Hi guys, Chef Mooney here coming to you from Mooney's Kitchen. Today I'm going to make a beautiful recipe for you. The start of a new year. This one is a cracker. It's so easy and simple to make. I'm going to do a minute steak. We call it a minute steak because it takes literally a minute or so to cook. I'm going to make the most delicious sauce. Very, very quick and simple. You just need a couple of ingredients. I'm going to finish it off with some lovely potatoes, a little bit of broccoli and some sliced onion and it is going to be delicious. Now you can use the sauce that I'm gonna serve on this steak. You can use it with chicken, you can use it with fish, whatever you like. Come on guys, let's get cooking. Okay guys, for this recipe, you're gonna need some of this thin steak. It's a, they call it sizzle steak here. Uh, you could use minute steak. If you don't have it that thin, you can just cook a regular steak or you can cut a steak to that, get your butcher to cut it for you. All right, so we're gonna need some olive oil, a little bit of black pepper. I'm gonna use some horseradish cream. Now, if you're using a chicken dish, you might wanna leave that step out. Um, maybe add some mustard or something. Some cream, thickened cream. I'm gonna use some creme fraiche. I'm gonna use this garlic infused rosemary butter, which I thought would be nice. I saw it in the, in the shops and I thought, oh, I'll give that a crack. Some fresh rosemary from my garden. Over here we've got about a cup of mushrooms, half a red onion sliced. We're gonna add some vegetables to this. I'm gonna throw in some broccoli. And I've got my potatoes already halved in the water there. So we get those onto boil. First step, get your potatoes onto boil. Touch of salt in the water. Over to this side, I've got a pan heating up. We're gonna start cooking our onions and our mushrooms to mix through the potato. A little bit of olive oil in the pan. Let that heat up. Once I toss in our onions. Just cook these now, nice and slow. Low and slow. Okay, toss the mushrooms in. And followed by a good knob of that rosemary butter. Probably about a tablespoon, I'd say. You can add more or less. Just let that cook through. And then I just want to drop my rosemary on the top. Let that just melt through. Touch of salt. Potatoes are boiling away nicely. Just let this cook through now. This is about where I need it now. The onions are nice and caramelized. Mushrooms are cooked through. Got that lovely rosemary butter through there. Now potatoes are just about three quarters done. I'm gonna drop in the broccoli now. And let that steam through. So I've popped all the vegetables in there. I'm just gonna let that sit in the water there for about five minutes and then we're gonna drain the water off, add our mushrooms and butter, and then we'll start cooking the steak. Okay, so I've drained the water off. Now I'm gonna add all the mushrooms with that beautiful, with that rosemary infused butter. Gonna add just a little bit more butter in there. Lid back on. Just push that to the back of the stove. We're now gonna start cooking the steak. Now I've seasoned my steak with some cracked black pepper. I've got four here, that'll be enough for two serves. When the pan is nice and smoking hot, just make sure the oil is around. Just give it a bit of a mix around. And then pepper side down. We wanna start putting these steaks into the pan. And it won't take very long at all. And crack black pepper on that side. You can choose to add salt if you want to. We're now going to turn them. And look at that gorgeous colour. Turn the heat down now. We're going to remove them. They've been cooking for less than a minute and a half. Just let them rest on the plate now. Good heap tablespoon of creme fraiche. Good spoon of horseradish cream. And we just want to get all those beautiful juices from the meat incorporated into our sauce. Touch of cream, let's say about a half a cup. Now this is the time where you can correct the consistency and the taste and the flavor. Adjust the seasoning. If you want this sauce nice and thick, you just reduce it down. If you want it nice and thin like this, you can leave it as it is. 
And before we do, all those juices, resting juices on your meat, just pour them into the sauce. It's beautiful flavor. So I'm gonna heat up slightly and we just wanna reduce this, get it up to boiling point, make sure that we've got everything nice and incorporated. Okay, now it's time to serve. We're gonna just stir that butter through the potatoes and everything else. And get all that goodness in there. Really healthy, hearty meal, beautiful. Place the steak on the top. Gorgeous. If you don't have thin steak, just use thick steak. You can use chicken, this is great for chicken as well. Beautiful sauce for the steak. Just over the top. Serve the rest of the sauce into a little sauce boat. I'm just gonna finish off with a sprinkle of chopped parsley. And some fresh rosemary from my garden. That, my friends, is my first recipe for 2020. This is a delicious meal, really healthy. The mushrooms in there are just gorgeous, really complement the dish. So we've got to give it a bit of a taste test, I think. Um, the, the beef, um, as I said, is nice and thin. Don't need to cook it that much. The broccoli is nice and still crunchy. Still got some juices coming out from that steak, so it hasn't been overcooked. A little bit of sauce there. That, my friends, I promise you, give it a try. Potatoes are nice and soft. Thanks guys for watching my channel. Tune in next week for another great recipe. Until then, take care.